Hello people, right, I have a top tip for you designers and developers today. Now we've all been there, haven't we? When we're building a site or a brand identity and we need stock footage to obviously either put a logo on or create sort of service or product images in the background of our websites, just to give more context uh, to the design when we're handing it over to the client. And if you are somebody that owns your own business and the need to create stock footage and can't, uh, don't have the money to pay for professional photographers, this is gonna be a top way for you to use AI and actually manipulate the AI into creating the perfect photography for your business, for your clients, for anything. So if we come over to my desktop, you can see what people used to do uh, before this technique that I showed you is we would use things like Shutterstock or my personal favorite is, that's annoying, it's move away. My personal favorite is Unsplash. Now this is a free site that has very, very high quality images that you can see here. And they have a paid for version. This is actually what I used to use. I used to pay for these guys, but I'm gonna show you an example of a brand identity that I created right here. So this was for Agent Finder, a company that uh, pairs up people with their agent to sell their homes and what if I told you that these images here were created by AI hmm? you'd be pretty amazed wouldn't you this house here isn't a real house what does what does this mean this means that everything here is royalty free and I've been able to create something like this with an orange house uh, with the perfect orange for this brand without having to photo manipulate or do anything such as such as that I was able to, this is funny, the, the client, <clears throat> I took an image of him and then put it into the Mid Journey app and actually created a sort of re realistic portfolio image as if he had been, had a photo shoot taken for him. Now, the great thing about this is when a client sees this, he is, they are absolutely amazed that they're like, oh, wait, did you do a photo shoot? What, how did you get these specialized images? And what I'm going to show you now is how to prompt Mid Journey in creating uh, some custom images so say for example i want instead of this happy client that's just sold her home she's looking into the distance let's say that we want a property agent that is a woman let's actually go into mid journey now let's actually write this prompt we want a so i've actually got mid journey open and down here you can see i've got imagine and the prompt and i'm going to say hyper realistic portrait of real estate agent woman let's put in some keywords so Let's make a B E A beautiful. Let's make it black and white, white background. But this is the key thing. Let's actually say orange, orange tie. Yeah. And then what else we want to do is ha hyper realistic portrait of real happy real estate agent woman beautiful. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what this see what this comes out with. So of course the reason I said orange tie is because we want it to blend in with the background. Now, once we've got this image, we can actually apply, see this this particular brand, I've used black and white imagery. So it's gonna be a lot easier to fit in these images if they don't come out the way we want. But as we can see, whilst this is loading, it's already come up with some really cool concepts. Obviously, we're not at the full percentage yet. 50%. It's come up with a ginger woman, which I mean, this is this is why I love AI because it can come up with really abstract concepts. What if the ginger hair was a, a key selling point for the brand? Now, this top right, right one here is obviously giving me EasyJet vibes. I actually quite like this one to the far top left. So what we can do is once this is loaded, it's actually to get more versions of, see she, I mean, how does the AI know what is and what isn't pretty? It's actually quite spectacular. So this top left one, I think goes with the, with the brand identity and the sort of feel. So I'm gonna create four new versions of that. So I think she looks a little bit squinty. Look at that face, even though she is quite pretty. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if these are gonna be much better, to be honest. Let's just upscale number one, just in case it doesn't come out. But obviously, if we had more time, I would put the prompt through a couple more times and then get a an exact image that I want. Yeah, see, this isn't too bad. So I'm gonna bring this in, drag that out. 
Now this is obviously, it's kind of got like a pencil effect on it. Like I said, we could uh, adjust the prompt to be even more realistic. I'm using a plug in here now just to cut out the background of this. I uh, like doing this within Figma rather than Photoshop because it can take some take some time. No, it's not gonna up, it's not gonna remove it for me. So let's, let's, let's use Adobe Photoshop. I've got this plug in basically within Figma that cuts out the background, but sometimes it just doesn't, doesn't like the play. So I've got the Adobe Beta Photoshop, which I highly recommend because it's actually got AI built in. Right, so I've just dragged in the image into Adobe. Now let's select it. I want to keep this tie in as well. See what the mask looks like of this. Make it completely transparent. Yeah, that looks fine to me. Okay, so I'm going to quickly mask this off and file export it. Right, I'm just going to export this PNG to here. Let's see if that's actually saved to my desktop. Okay, we've got the PNG there. So I'm just going to apply. Remove this woman. And let's put in a new agent and see what that looks like. I mean, look at that. Bosh. I actually think that looks better than the... The previous one before i mean if we adjusted her face just a little bit i mean i'll show you something quite cool within the new photoshop ai but it, it really is not tweaked at the moment so let's see what we can do with the ai effect within here so if we select the head what i'm going to do is generative fill and then i'm going to type in add an orange headband see what it does i was going to say make her smile a little bit less but i think that would come out She'd probably look a little bit scary. Now look at this. Look at the way this... <laughs> like I said, AI isn't fully there yet, but I must admit it is, it is hilarious what the Photoshop can come up with this regenerative AI. Obviously, there's more. If we made better prompts or... <laughs> I mean, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is, but yeah. Cool. But yeah, as you can see, absolutely brilliant what we can do with this. Now, I'll show you what else. So we come back to mid-journey. Here we go. Let's actually type in poster at the plus, the image. So say we wanted to have a poster for this website. So poster on wall. Let's put white poster on brick wall. Yeah, let's see what that comes up with. Let's imagine that. And then obviously what I like to do with my prompts is I just type in something at the start and then you can refine them as you go and uh, move on. And then what I tend to do, if I find a really good prompt that I know I'm going to use in the future, I keep a Word doc uh, that I'll just copy and paste these into. And then whenever I have like an issue where I need a smiling agent with a orange tile, I'll copy that prompt, of course. So here's another reason why you want to use AI regenerative AI to create images. Because of course, if you sign up to a lot of like Invanto elements, I think it's like 40 pound a month, you need to buy mockups for obviously posters and such. But if we just look here, we can come up with some pretty good mockups ourselves. Obviously, you're going to have to edit these within Photoshop. But we could tweak this, if you know what I mean, to change the elements in the background to obviously look more in line with what a brand feeling is. See, I, I love version version four. We got upscale version four. We've just created a the baseline of a mock-up that is completely royalty free. Nobody has in the world. It's completely new, and obviously we just take this into Photoshop and uh, drop in our image. So that's another reason that I am using Midjourney and I pay for all of this because it is saving me money and it's allowing me to create more tailored concepts for my clients, which obviously makes me stand out. So there we go, guys. This is one way that I'm utilizing uh, Midjourney AI. I'm sure as more softwares come out and as Photoshop gets better, it's going to be a lot more easier to create mock-ups. And I'm sure that uh, some of these mock-up companies are going to implement this anyway. But we're ahead of the curve here and it's allowing me to speed up my design process. So you've heard it here first. You can create mock-ups and uh, stock footage for your business, for your clients. And it's going to make you look like an absolute professional because it's going to make you look like you've got custom images that you've either gone out and actually shot or you've uh, designed within Photoshop. So if you have any cool ideas or you've had like a little information buzz of how this can help you drop in the comments below what you're utilizing it for otherwise join the facebook group which is linked below i will be revealing more courses as the time progresses we are growing this community obviously to create as much wealth for all of us together in utilizing ai and webflow and all of these great technologies that are coming out so just drop me a message and we can get things moving thank you for your
your time and I hope to speak to you soon.